sensational, your fantastic pictures and memories put up on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the referee for the following bout, representing Poland. Please, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Slavomir Milchanek. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, introducing the judges for the following bout, Judge 1, Fiji, Judge 2, Algeria, Judge 3, Turkmenistan, Judge 4, the United States of America, Judge 5, Singapore. Listen to my comments, please. Head up. No holding. No global. Okay? Good luck. Thank you. We're in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division, and this contest is between boxers from Zambia and Wales. The boxer wearing red. Is 21 year old Nkumbu Silungwe, part of a four man Zambian boxing team competing in his first. Oh my goodness, what a left hook he's just landed against Billy Edwards and it sends him to the canvas. Inside the first 30 seconds of the opening round, and Silungwe competing in his first contest. He's come out blazing with that left hook once again, and Edwards is forced to hold on. Yeah, tremendous shot from Silungwe, left hook. He's also got a decent right hand over the top, and it's the left hook that's caught Edwards out. Edwards probably just dropped his right hand slightly to just get caught and again. So he's got to watch what he's doing here when he's in mid-range against this fella. Big puncher, Silungwe, and delivered uh, probably the best left hook that he's certainly thrown in this tournament so far. There it is again. So Edwards has got to keep his distance and keep his hands up. His hands keep dropping, and Silungwe again landed a couple of good shots. Left right combination swiveling the head of Edwards as it does once again and Edwards is in danger of being overwhelmed here approaching the midpoint of the opening round and it's been a torrid one so far for 21 year old Billy Edwards. Salungwe after receiving a bye in the first preliminary round he would have been keyed up and ready to go and he's found his range immediately and he keeps finding the right target with that left hook and Edwards has got to make the adjustment to prevent that shot from landing. 
Big round for Salungwe, started very well indeed. Very fast hands, hasn't he? Mid short range, and again the left up. Edwards, though, Ronald keeps dropping his right hand. He's got to get his right hand higher and concentrate on distance. That's what Edwards has got to do here. The left and the right crashing home once again, and Edwards simply unable to avoid these punches. He's tying his man up and having endured such a difficult opening round. Well, perhaps the best bet now is just to see it out and get back to the corner, get the 60 second interval, receive some instruction from Colin Jones and try and make the adjustments and come again better in the second. But he's taken plenty of shots in this opening round. It's been a huge round from Kumbo Silungwe. Saw him at the World Championships in Hamburg last year. We lost in the first preliminary round up at welterweight. So he's dropped down a weight division here. And in this, his Commonwealth Games debut, he has made a terrific start against Billy Edwards. The 2017 British Championship bronze medalist. What a round from Kumbo Silungwe. The left hook deposited Edwards on the canvas and he was shaken up repeatedly through the round. Let's listen in. Pulling off him with the chin, chin straight up there. Drop your chin, pick your hands up and you're coming back off him. Right, yeah, Colin Jones there alluding to the low guard and the chin in the air. There it was. Left hook, super punch. But it made, it made it a little bit easier when Edwards with his chin in the air and his hands so low. But nevertheless, see look where they're landing a terrific left hook. Colin Jones quite rightly saying, get your chin down, get your hands up. You know, you block those type of punches. But a 10-8 round for Silungwe, a tremendous start for him. So into the second round, of this 64 kilogram light welterweight contest. The winner progressing through to the quarterfinals, and it's the more compact boxer, Nkumbo Silungwe of Zambia, who has made an absolutely sensational start on this, his Commonwealth Games debut. Competed in the Commonwealth Youth Games in Samoa in 2015, was a quarter finalist there. Here on his senior debut, been an absolutely sensational start. Can Billy Edwards recover from that difficult opening round that he experienced? But again, he's trying to lean away from the punches and his right hand down by his belt line. And Salungwe helping himself to another left hook. Yeah, he's very, very dangerous, isn't he, Salungwe? But he's dangerous at mid and short range. What Edwards has got to do is, he's quite simple. Tighten up on his guard, like Colin Jones has said, but also concentrate on straight punches. Forget about bent arm work against this fella. You must keep the punches straight. Jab, straight right hand, box from the centre, and just maintain a gap. There you go, perfect example. That's what he's got to do. As soon as you come into mid and short range, you bring this fella in, and he's dangerous. Powerful man, so you box to your strengths, which is in this contest for Edwards has got to be at long range. Longwe comes in here after having picked up or earned a bronze in the African Continental Championships in Brazzaville last year. Again, that was up at 69 kilograms welterweight. That's what secured his passage through to Hamburg 2017, the World Championships. Again, a little bit of success there for Edwards. Concentrating on that straight jab and then the right hand. What you also have to do here, feet is, are important. He's got to keep moving. If he holds his feet here, Edwards, that would allow Salungwe just to close the gap down and that's when he becomes dangerous. There, look, dangerous fella, this guy. You've got to hit, you've got to move against this, guy, this fella. Counted brilliantly by the right hand there was Edwards. I'm sure that chin not tucked away as tightly as Colin Jones would like it. Still trying to lean away from the punches. Dipped underneath that one nicely. You see, if you watch the way Salung 
way he boxes one was he's actually open to a right hand himself. When he walks forward, he, he, he carries his left hand very, very low indeed. It's just he's got very fast hands and fast feet. And he's sort of surprising Edwards with those quick attacks. So second round in the book. So let's have a look here. Again, Salungwe, dangerous coming forward, but if you allow this fella to close the gap down, that's when, you know, he brings his better work into, in, into play, especially with the hook. There it was there, perfect demonstration there of him getting close and landing that bent arm shot. Yeah, that, of the fact that Edwards still not tucking his chin down onto his chest. Up in the air like a weather vane. In any instances during that second round. Straight shots, there you go, Colin Jones. Into the third and final round. Billy Edwards beginning this stanza with his hands up as his coach has instructed. Landed a good lead right hand out of that orthodox stance. And he's now trying to establish a jab, tucking up far more tightly than we've seen at any point in this contest up to now. Right hand wasn't too far away. Salungwe fencing with his lead hand. He did catch Edwards. The glancing overhand right and a counter left hook moving backwards. That's a lovely shot from Salingue, not just on the front foot, employing reverse gear and still catching the man coming in with that left hook. Yeah, tidy layback, wasn't it, from Salingue? I think he's um, called it from what I could make out. Um, they said they want him to, I think, just create a bit of space and gap, and they, they think he's getting a little bit too close on the inside and, and uh, nullifying his work. But when he finds that gap, there again, big shots. Yeah, he's a handful, this guy. Skillful operator at short and mid-range. His rapid fire punches keep on catching Edwards. His knees were dipped by that left hook once again, and Edwards oh, forced to hold on just to allow his senses to recover and his head to clear. Approaching the midpoint of this third round, it's been a terrific display. A dominant display by Salungwe to this point. And I think we're at the stage of the bout now where Edwards needs a stoppage to get himself, well, through to the next round. Yeah, he's just gone off course again, hasn't he, Edwards? Colin Jones clearly said in that corner, keep the punches nice and straight, but he's allowed Salungwe in again. Salungwe boxing his contest, getting up close to Edwards and landing the better work. Again, at this type of territory, this doesn't play to the strengths of Edwards, who has a height and reach advantage, but he's not been able to employ the left jab and the right hand. So, it was a good right hand from Edwards. Salungwe just crowding his work on that occasion there. Well, it's a point off now for Edwards for failing to keep his head up. So. That was, this will be a point off for whatever total Edwards comes out of this round with. For my money, he's losing the session. So if it was a 10-9 round in favour of Salungwe, you take that point off, it's going to be a 10-8 round. And Kumbo Salungwe is through to the quarterfinals, barring walking on to a single knockout shot in the closing seconds here. Well, Billy Edwards found that a very difficult assignment indeed. No such worries for this man. And Kumbo Salungwe on his Commonwealth Games debut started magnificently, depositing Billy Edwards on the canvas with a peach of a left hook in the opening round, and he maintained his dominance throughout the three three-minute rounds. Edwards' problems compounded by receiving a warning for not keeping his head up in the third and final round. It's Nkumbo Salungwe who will be going through to the quarterfinals at the expense of the Welshman. Good display from Salungwe. Powerful left hook, but also a decent right hand and um, very quick indeed.
bout which we've all enjoyed, but who's going to enjoy it the most? From the red corner, on points. So Nkumbo Silungwe salutes the crowd here at the Oxenford Studios. Warm handshake from Colin Jones, a completely dominant display against Billy Edwards from Wales. He's eliminated from this, his first Commonwealth Games in the second preliminary round. It's Nkumbo Salungwe, who is now one win away from a place on the medal podium.